Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. In this tutorial, we will discover together the latest method to enhance low resolution portraits using Adobe Photoshop and DFDNet. As you can see here, this is the original portrait and as you can see, it's a very low resolution image. So we'll go through four different steps to enhance the quality of this image. Let me show you how this was improved after each step. So this is the first step after preparing the image in Photoshop before processing it in DFDNet. And then here is the result after processing the portrait in DFDNet. Then we took the result from DFDNet and then applied some noise reduction in Photoshop. Then in the final step, we added a little bit of saturation and contrast to improve the look of the image a little bit more. Okay, now let's begin our tutorial by dragging and dropping our original photo inside Photoshop. First, I'll double click the layer to activate it. Then I'll go to image menu, then select image size. Then I will enlarge this image to prepare it for DFDNet processing by increasing its dimension, which is 200 pixels in both width and height. So for example, let's multiply the width and height by six to make the image six times bigger and to give DFDNet a better image resolution to process correctly. Make sure the resample option is checked and choose Bilinear as the resampling method, then click OK. Now I'll go to File menu to save the enlarged image in my DFDNet folder. You can watch my previous video tutorial to know how to download and install DFDNet on your computer, and also to know everything in detail about how to test and run this fantastic open source project created by very, very genius Chinese programmers. So please check the links in the description to watch my full DFDNet installation tutorial. So let's rename this image file. And then let's change the save as format to JPEG. Then I will click on save to save the image file. In the window that follows, I will make sure the quality is set to maximum, then I will click on OK. Now I will open the Anaconda prompt window to execute the necessary commands to run the FDNet image restoration process. After done the image processing, we can find the processed image inside the DFDNet results folder. So let's open this image in Photoshop again. So here is the DFDNet result image in Photoshop. And now if we go to image size, we can see that the image dimension is being increased to 4,800 pixels in both width and height, which is a really fantastic improvement in resolution when compared to the native image file. Now, as you can see, the DFDNet result is fine, but if we zoom in a little bit, we will find out that it's a little bit noisy. So what we're going to do now is using the camera row filter in Photoshop to reduce the noise. So let's first double click the image layer to activate it. Then let's tap Ctrl plus J on the keyboard to duplicate the layer. Then while the upper layer is selected, I will go to filter menu, then select camera row filter. In the camera row filter window, I will go to the Detail tab, then I will increase the noise reduction all the way up as shown. 
then I'll decrease the detail parameter to about 30. Then I will also tweak the color noise reduction parameters as shown. Let's click OK. Now I'll select the Eraser tool, then make sure that the Hardness is set to 0, then I'll increase the size as shown, and also make sure that the Opacity is set to 40%. Then I will start erasing the Eyes area to remove it from the blue red layer on the top, and to show back some of the face details from the bottom layer. Nice, let's compare and see. As you can see, the face is smoother now and less noisy than before. Now let's select both layers, then tap Ctrl plus E to group them together. Then we'll go to Image menu, Adjustments, then choose Hue and Saturation to increase the saturation just a little bit. Then I'll go back to Image menu, Adjustments again, then choose Brightness and Contrast to increase the contrast a little bit as shown. Finally, let's compare the final result with the native image to see the improvements that we did. Let's have a closer look. Wow, this is great! I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.